Hi, my name is Eli Latt. Today I'll be showing you how to create this fuzzy ball effect in Blender, a free open source 3D modeling and animation software. First, we're going to leave every object in the scene. We'll be adding everything we need manually. Next, click Shift A and add a UV sphere to the scene. If you want to choose a different object for more interesting results, this is your chance to play around and figure out what shaped object you like to animate. Next, we're going to go to the Particles menu and click the plus button to add particles to the object. In this case, we want the object to have hair, not become an emitter for particles. Tick the Advanced box and Hair Dynamics box to have access to greater control over our hair. Now, I'm going to show you some important values in the hair settings. Feel free to change the numbers that I'm not changing. Exploration is the key to growth. Don't be afraid to mess something up. Remember that you can always undo anything with Command Z. Under Emission, number is the number of hairs that gets created. For me, I put this at 1000. If your computer is slow, you can put this to around 500. Seed will change the random numbers that generate the placement of the hairs. I left this at zero. Hair length is self-explanatory. Segment is how many segments each hair is divided into. Although the more segments will make it more realistic, the more stress it can put on your computer. I left this at five. Quality steps determines the simulation's quality. It will be more realistic at higher numbers, but it will be a lot slower. I left this at five. I did the same for quality of collisions. Under the structure tab, stiffness determines how much the hair will bend with gravity or velocity of the moving object. This one can change how your hair acts with movement a lot. A lower number will make it bend more and a higher number will make it more resistant. I put this at one, but you should play with numbers from 0.5 to 10 until you find what you like. Children are an easy way of adding more hair with lesser performance decreases. I put the display amount at 100 and the render amount at 200. These were all the major settings I changed, but I urge you to play around with the settings I did not change. Some of them you will be able to tell a difference and some of them you won't. Next, let's add a material. Go to the material tab with the hair object selected and click the plus button. Click base color and change it to whatever you wish. I've made mine slightly metallic and decrease the roughness. Play around with these settings too. You can make some fun materials that look really cool with a few minutes of work. Next, I added a sun. I did this by clicking shift A, light, then sun. I moved the sun by clicking G with the sun selected. It should be selected for you and I moved it up and to the side. I then took control of the handle and pointed it at the object to get more interesting shadows. Next, I added an HDRI map for the world. I went to Polyhaven and downloaded an EXR file for my HDRI. Then I went to the world tab, changed it to an environment texture and selected my own file. I would then went on to animating the ball. I would select the ball, click I on the zeroth frame. Then I would go to a different frame, in my case I chose 10, and rotated it with R. I then clicked I to save it again. I would repeat this by going to different frames and clicking R or G if you want to move it instead of rotating it. Lastly, I added a camera by selecting Shift A, Camera, navigating to a spot in the world that had a good angle and clicking Control or Alt, option zero. Then I changed my render settings to use EV, set my output, changed the file format to FFmpeg video with these settings. After that, I clicked render and I was done. Thank you very much.